So I gotta start this video off by saying shout out to the Madden Mon community. And I don't know exactly the guy's name. It just says B because in Discord you can't really see the exact name of the person. But shout out to B, I'll say, on the Madden Mon community because he made another amazing mod. Now he does college mods. And what he did was not only made the high school here, as you can see, we also have a 7-on-7 seven seven mod here. So instead of it being 11-on-11, 11 11, it's a 7-on-7 seven seven kind of scrimmage type game. So, for example, let's go right into this. We have the kickoff, and again, like I said, the high school field looks absolutely amazing. But, um, let's go ahead and fair catch this. He kicks it out of the end zone. How many players do we have on this kickoff? So the Dolphins had three, four, five, six, seven, and we had seven guys. So it's literally, yeah, seven on seven. But like the idea is that's all it is the whole entire game, which I know is kind of a, you know, obvious concept, but you can see even all the plays are changed based on the seven on seven concept. So, I, I don't know how this is going to go, but to be honest, this actually is kind of awesome. And out of all the Madden I have played, this is something I feel like EA needs to bring the Ultimate Team, like, as a house rules type concept, because this could be so freaking fun to play. I know, listen, I know Superstar KO, this is literally like Superstar KO, this is like the other game modes they have. Stefan Diggs dropped that wide open catch. There's like other game modes they have. So it's not like it's a new concept or a new idea to go like this. But it would be fun to do this with Ultimate Team with your Ultimate Team players. I feel like that would be a really cool idea there. But wait, hold up. So no one's going to blitz me, are they? I just realized. Um, yeah, yeah, no one's going to blitz me at all. So I could technically sit back here and enjoy my time. And the fact I almost threw an interception and the fact he dropped at the same time is actually amazing. So that's the only downside of this is that, yeah, no one's going to blitz you. So in theory, it really, this comes down to a 7-on-7 seven seven is whoever just goes 4 and out because... You can't blitz someone. So what happens if I try to? So like, for example, let's run man coverage, right? Okay, so technically, can I blitz? I, I have an idea here. Can I actually blitz? Oh, you can blitz. And I got dotted the fluff up for a touchdown by Tyree Kill. But the to answer the question, yes, you can blitz. But... Then you're taking someone out of a zone coverage, I guess. I mean, technically, I don't know. That's not technically that bad. Why can I not complete a pass today? Thank you. I finally completed a freaking pass. Okay. I was to say. It kind of was embarrassing for a second. Now, my question is, does the school board update? Does it update? No, it does update. Oh, that is freaking dope as heck. So not only are the goalposts also high school goalposts, which I think is awesome, the scoreboard is also updating for the game. So I thought this was just going to be like a background cosmetic type of thing. But no, you can see it does actually show exactly what's going on. So again, like I said, kind of dope. All right, so I'm going to try blitzing again because I want to see, can I get to the quarterback in, I guess he's going to throw the ball, right? Yeah, he'll just... It would just be a forced throw. Dude, our secondary cannot cover one-on-one -on -one with this defense. I mean, with this, with the receivers. But they do have Tyreek Hill. And we only have seven players out here. So I'm going to try to blitz as fast as I can here. Okay, hold up. Hike the ball. Oh, but yeah, they can do that, though. They could always just go ahead and put their running back as a blocker. And they're obviously the center. So, technically, there is, you know, a guy that could, in theory, you know, block a blitzer. What if we both blitz? Yeah, no, he just gets the ball out so quickly. 
I don't think we're going to be able to get a sack on this. I know it's kind of cheesy anyways, because, like, bro, like, why would you blitz? That This is a 7-on-7, seven seven. you know? This is supposed to be just for fun. But, like, listen, I can be a tryhard sometimes, you know? Sometimes I can uh, want to win and want to, you know, try hard like crazy. So, you know, let me be great, okay? Let me be great. Don't Don't be a hater on my hating. Don't hate on my hating. That's what I want to say. Alright. Let's go. All day to throw it. Okay. I'll be honest with you on that play. I was actually thinking about... um, Like... I was trying to see if I could celebrate in the backfield. I don't know why. I, I, I figured I couldn't. But I wanted to see if I could. And the fact that I can't... Actually, you know, makes sense. But still. Dude, going deep is like the meta. <laughs> Can I say that and I get absolutely destroyed? But like, going deep seems like the meta to do on this. Just because the fact it seems like it's so wide open. Especially because it's one-on-one. -on -one. Like, when you have one-on-one, -on -one, it's hard to cover one-on-one -on -one with a defensive player for that long. I mean, offensive player for that long. But it's the meta. It's the meta to go deep. It's the matter to go deep. Now, I'm going to see how long can I sit back here. Okay? I'm just going to sit back here. I'm just going to see. How long? Eventually, I feel like they're going to blitz me. Eventually, have to. Come on. Eventually, somebody has to. And you can actually... I could run Josh Allen. Oh, that could be cheesy. See, usually with 7-on-7, seven seven, usually there's one is no blitzing, right? That's usually a thing. Wait, did I just kneel it down? Um, okay. I, I, I did... Why, why is that even a play call? I don't know why kneeling down is a play call. But usually there's no blitzing and there's no quarterback runs in a 7-on-7. Seven seven. Because, yeah, it can get very OP. Like, I could just do this all day and absolutely destroy my opponent. Right? This is like the glitchiest thing you could possibly do. Alright, man. We gotta figure out defense, though. Because defense is a little getting cooked. And I still, on the low low, want to get a... I want to sack him. I want to get one sack today. Because I'm a... Because I'm a knucklehead. Alright. I'm going to cover that. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to him. If I let someone go by himself to him, he's going to throw the ball too quickly. If I try to blitz it myself, it's going to be a problem. Alright, so I'm going to have to get past the running. He's going to block the running back if I do this. My guess would be... Yeah, no, that center picked me up, man. That center is OP. Not really OP, but like that center is like getting the job done. Um... I mean, yeah, I want to stay in the man coverage... I feel like the man coverage... Man coverage is the best if I'm going to blitz. Bro, I, I just get picked up instantly. Okay, so blitzing is not the method. You cannot blitz and get to the quarterback, even though it's 7-on-7. Seven seven. Interesting. Unless, like, you blitz, like, a lot of... It does, you can't blitz a lot of people. There's only seven guys on the team. <laughs> it kind of defeats the purpose of the idea of blitzing a lot of people when there's only seven guys on the team. <laughs> You blitz the house, you're actually just blitzing the whole team. I'm a run commit. I'm a run commit. What's a run commit look like? Oh, you can't run commit. Alright, so you can't run commit. See, I'm learning what you can and cannot do. Run commit, not an option. Everything else, potentially an option. What if I call field goal block? I did, I did see this field goal block on it. Seven, okay, so 7-on-7 seven seven and a special teams. So that's the only two formations you have. Special teams and 7-on-7. Seven seven. Wait, hold up. So if you call... Okay, so if you call a field goal block, they will come out in the run play type concept. Whoa, hold up. So they were kind of cheesing if you think about it. Because they came out there and they had like a run formation. out. Like, look at this crap. Well, okay, now they changed it, but... They had a run formation out there. So they were be, they were going to be some cheesers right there. See, I'm telling you, bro. They they, don't, they talk all that talk, but reality-wise, they're cheesing worse than I am. 
And I didn't think that was possible. I thought I was going to be the... How are they kicking this ball out of the end zone every single time? This is a 100-yard field, right? Yeah, this is a 100-yard. This is a 100-yard. How are they kicking this out of the end zone every single time? I mean, their kicker... I know he's good. I didn't know he's like 100-yard out of the end zone good. It's not 100 yards. He's kicking at a 20, what, 35-yard line. So, it's actually not that crazy. I, don't, I just didn't think he was like Justin Tucker kicking out of the end zone good, okay? That's all I gotta say. Bro, this is the cheese. This is the cheese. Can you imagine running 707 with Lamar Jackson? Like, that's just not even fair, bro. Like, you don't even have to throw the ball. Who cares about throwing the ball? I got freaking Josh Allen, and he can just bulldoze over everyone and get first downs and some. And, because I'm playing arcade mode, you know, you get stamina is going to go back up. And then they have to quarterback spy him. That's the problem then. They're going to have to quarterback spy Josh Allen. And you quarterback spy him, you're taking away one player from coverage. <laughs> yeah, that that's really, that's really going to be the cheese. I'll be honest with you. All right, well, let me fake. I want to fake an extra point. Let me fake this. How's this going to look? Oh. That actually looks like it's a lot more doable than a normal extra point. Just because I feel like there's, like, usually when you fake an extra point, you're, like, tackling immediately. But this time, there's actually less. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you're not. Yeah, You still have, like, no time. You still have, like, no time at all. I love how Josh Allen's backup is also named Allen. It's Kyle Allen. All right, I'm going to sim the rest of this game. I want to see how this game ends. That's what I want to do right now. What? How does this game end if I was not controlling it, right? If the best mad player in the universe, myself, you know, self, self-claimed, self wasn't controlling this game, how would this end? We go to overtime, and we won in overtime. That's what you call... A championship. 51 points scored. 501 yards and 5 touchdowns. 541 yards and 6 touchdowns. Yet he lost. And you know why? That's because he had 129 yards and 2 tutties. It's all Josh Allen, baby. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.